Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul, and we're going to be doing a little bit of nanite farming today. Now, I just want to let everybody know that, uh, you know, this is, first of all, this base here that we're at is called, and I'm, I've aptly named it, and I want to thank the fellow that uh, gave me the idea of the inverted pyramid, uh, Wiley Fox, uh, a.k.a. Wy the Wiley Fox. So we've renamed the base to the Wiley Fox base, or the experimental nanite farm, as I like to call it. So we're going to try to do some nanite farming today, and I'm using my uh, weapon of choice, of course, and I'm going to use my pulse spitter rather than my um, bolt caster. Before I get started, let me just... Yeah, you're in your starship again. Let me just get or make sure I have enough ammunition to last the run, because, you know, with 13,000 ammunition, you think to yourself, ah, you got plenty. Nah, that's not true. Okay, so we're going to get this going. Now, as an added bonus, um, <laughs> bonus or not, I'm in a... I, I have a family, folks. i got kids that roam around the house, that are in and out of the door, wandering around the house at all times of day and night. And, you know, honestly, it's not going to be quiet. So people are going to be talking in the background. You may even hear, hear a different game running in the background. Deal with it. I'm not going to tell them to keep quiet every single time I need to play a game. And until I have an actual office, this is just the way it's going to be. So here we go. Uh, a couple minutes in, I just need to find myself a sentinel. There he is. And there they are. There we go. Let's just lead him in. And of course, it's a storm, but because I'm over here, the storm doesn't affect me. reset the clock. Now, I've learned that on these aggressive sentinel planets, they tend to take their time getting in here. So this takes a little bit of time for them to uh, all get inside the pyramid area itself. So I like to just lead them in. There we go. Almost all of them. And that too, uh, you know, you've got your uh, triangular dude over here, who... Uh, there's only one, and I like to have two. There we go. And the healers we're not really too concerned about, they don't really drop anything. So I'm going to take them out, because we want... The next level. Actually, we need level five to be honest with you. So once we get to level five, we can have everything we need. So Wiley Fox, this is the Wiley Fox Experimental Nanite Farm. Again, people in and out of the house. So over the noise of the game itself, maybe I don't know. Um, uh, they're over here this time. Why do they come in behind me this time? Oh, thank you. Oh, hi there. Yep. Uh, if I could just draw them in. There we go. I love how those bounce all over the place. There we go. Okay, deleted. Deleted. I think that's everybody, right? No? Is there somebody else? Let's do this. I'll just take a quick peek and see if there's somebody else somewhere nearby. Oh, wait a minute. We're right there. Hey, buddy. Come on in. What? See, that's the only problem is trying to get them to come in is they take their time coming in. Ah, okay, now he's in. And 
Those should go almost all the way down. Okay. And I get myself a little bit out of into the storm area, unfortunately. But if I can stay down low a little bit, just a little bit below the surface, then they... Ah, hi, see? Hello, come on in. Now there might be... There's not one over there, so I think it's just those two over there. And if I remember correctly... Yeah. Um, oh, I know what that is. That's our uh, four-legged quad. Somehow he's inside my uh, area here. Ah! There we go. Glad I put a door there. They should appear over there. But they're appearing everywhere. Oh, hey, how'd you get down there? do we have? I just, let me think here. We got the one pyramid dude. The fall-in unit, but I think that's it. We just have the one. Alright. See if this will draw them in. I mean, they're searching, but they should be able to come up. Come on. See, that's the thing, is they're just kind of slow. If I can give them a booster or something, you know? Ah, there you are. And you go down. Alright, and we need to take him out. Let's uh, delete him. I might think about doing a sloped coming up to the, the the pavilion here. Have an actual slope coming in. All right, so what do we got? It's like the whole contingent there, but we still only have the one recall unit. But level five will bring in another recall unit, and that's what we're looking for here. Good, 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 good. Oh, they already called in two more units. Look at that. There should be... Oh, there you are. Oh, I just heard a kaboom. I just heard a big kaboom. Where's the kaboom? Boom. Oh, I hear him. I hear the big guy. Where is he at? Oh, I almost landed on his head. 
Well, that's just you, huh? Up. Oh. You heard something big land. Gonna allow them to call in more stuff. Oh, there's the big guy. Hi there. Just trying to see, because there's usually another two legged walker floating around in here. Besides our ADAT, or ATST as I like to call them. Oh, that's just creepy. Right over my head. And we got two recall units. Alright, we're in good shape now. Right through it. He really wants to come after me. All right. We should have everybody in here now. So this looks pretty good now. So where are we at here? 12 minutes in, so we've got... So we could just let him stand there and just shoot. Hey, maybe we should get a family photo in here, huh? Where's all the, uh... Man, I hope I didn't kill them all. Let's see. Uh, they're all outside, I think. There's... And there's one over there. Oh, okay, there we go. See? We get ourselves a family photo, huh? Hold on a second. Get the laser going. This is the way to fight right here, folks. That's the way you should do it. And you know what? I think we need some light. There we go. What do you think? That yeah, looks like a pretty good shot. Q thumbnail. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, well, they'll be knocking at the door and everything else, so no problem. Alright. I can't believe he can't hit me from here for some reason. I don't know why. There should be a couple of more. That's just hilarious. He can't do anything. Good. All right. 
So, this is a great way to collect nanites. It's just fun. There are easier ways. Oh, hello there. Now that is awesome. I wish I would have gotten that on a... Uh, don't go off the edge. <laughs> Does it get any better than that? That almost looks like the cover from a book. There we go. You, uh, you're annoying me. You don't need to be in there. Shot down a bird. That was weird. I wasn't trying to, I'll be honest. So there's a lot of mayhem that goes on here, but it's still fun. Where are they? Come on, yeah, bring them in, buddy. And if that uh, two-legged walker gets on your nerves after a while, just take him out. He's gone. Alright. Back to you guys. Deleted. Ooh. Check you out. Ducked out. Did you? down there. So, hey, Wiley Fox, I think you have uh, a pretty successful idea here, man. Awesomeness. Because as long as these guys stay within the pyramid area... Well, they're all, like, all over the place right now. curious. my head are they? I don't even know where they are half, half the time. Alright, let's get a little bit over the way here. Take a look. Where everybody is. Okay, good deal. Hey man, this is just this is the fun part of the game. Not just the exploration.
All right. So what do you think? I think this is just an arena of death for these guys, or what? One traveler enters, no sentinels leave. So we've done about 10 minutes, 12 minutes. I know the, the whole recording's going on for about 21 minutes now, but we weren't really in full blown until now. I'm missing somebody. There's two there, and I seem like I'm missing one of the guys. I think we got someone trapped inside. check. There he is. So occasionally we're going to get people stuck. Not people, you know what I mean. drawback I see. Whoops. Missed the platform. Bye. Bye. And bye. Bye. Goodbye. Alright. Oh, hi there. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, good deal. So I think, like I said, I think this has been a pretty successful test here. Uh, what are we at? 23 minutes and counting. So, why don't we call it here? I think this was... Wiley Fox, I like it. Let's just say that. I like this. So we're going to take these guys out. That should be it. Yep, there we go. So how do we do? What do you think? <clears throat> Voice is getting a bit rough now. <laughs> so there should be... No combat containers anywhere else but inside the pyramid. And I'd say we got a good collection down there. And I've, obviously I've picked up a few on the way. And they're probably going to my freighter, which is funny because it's not even in the system. So I think that was a pretty good test. Now a couple different ways you can pick all this stuff up, but hijack laser, you can run around and do it, but those hijack lasers on the sentinel ones, man, they just pick everything up immediately. And if you look at the heat bar at the top right, it never runs out, especially if you can give it regular upgrades. It's like, a, it's like a vacuum cleaner. Just sucking all this stuff up. See, I've been going for 20 parts straight here, and it only got up about a quarter of the way. So yeah, get yourself one of those, man. They're really, really handy. Alright, I think that's everything. And if you look through here, you can find combat... Uh, looks like we don't have any here. Good. Looks like we found everything. Everything was gathered inside the inverted pyramid. So excellent. Excellent job. And it's not going to show up in my inventory, unfortunately. Um, again, I'm not sure why. Let me just check. Unless I'm in the wrong inventory. I was probably in the wrong inventory. Nope. Not showing up in there. So it would have been the glass. But for some reason, it likes to go to the freighter, even though you see item teleportation enabled. Yeah, it just puts it all in here. So, I already had a bunch in here to begin with, so there's no way to tell without actually pulling it apart and determining what I got. Now, some people have mentioned, hey, uh, you know, doing 
the pugnium into... Wow, that's just a lot of the stuff in here, isn't there? Doing pugnium into nanites is a good way of doing it. And I should have gotten a bunch of pugnium from this. Uh, 3,600 is what's in the inventory over here. Of course, you're just looking at that. I've got already got a full stack over here. And if I take that and put it into my refiner, it will give me nanites. It's a 25 to 1 ratio, though. So, is it worth it? It's really up to you. I like to keep Pugnium on my person because over time you do need it for certain things. That doesn't take long to process at all. And what we'll do is we'll just take a little bit more. Oh, right there. Yeah, why not? And we just get two out of it. All right. So we did pretty good. Again, not all of these were picked up at this particular point in time. You see, we also took out some animals by accident. We weren't trying to. Uh, we did get our walker brain out of it. And we got one of our hard frame engines. I should have probably gotten more than one, but eh, that's all right. I'm not really too concerned about it. So let's drop down a little bit so I'm not affected by the storm. So going back to this, this is what you ended up with. Again, I got a bunch of these stacks in alternative places, but if you really want to get some, um, I don't think you can process the glass itself. Yeah, you don't get anything for the glass. If you weren't aware of this, the Atlantidium that you get from the Corrupted Worlds does turn into Pugnium in a uh, one to two ratio so there's that as well as these inverted mirrors which you really could use they turn into nanite clusters at a one to 95 ratio so really good on those the radiant shards same thing one to 50. so even radiant shards will get you a bunch of nanite so if you find yourself a corrupted system pardon me a dissident system with a corrupted planet on it excellent for harvesting that stuff and you can get a lot a lot of materials crystal hearts the same thing nope you don't get anything for the crystal hearts but the other stuff absolutely there's no harm in using those things for what you need it's basically what it boils down to uh, I wouldn't put harmonic brains in there they're hard, kind of hard to come by uh, but the dissident brains the ones that are not worthy um, the one that are much harder to, uh, that you get from the ships and stuff like that. Like I have the high, that's a hyaline brain, hyaline brain. I'm not going to actually process it because I'm going to hang on to this one. You do get 230 nanites for one of those brains. So there's a couple different ways you can get um, nanites these days. Echolocators, no, they don't give you anything, just so you know. But you know, there's... Pause the video, go back into the video and watch those because you get a good decent amount of nanites from some of these items and it's good to go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, and you can harvest them that way at a much, much less, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Violent way? So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this though. And, you know, if you don't want to do it that way, you can get good items from the glass. I don't even know what I'm getting at this point. Like, I'm getting a couple magnetic resonators from that. See? Yeah, I even got another Sentinel Boundary map. Like, I need more of those. Like, I need a hole in the head. See? But what you should get on occasion is... These... Not suspicious. Where are they? I thought I had some on my person. You should get some upgrades. Oh, I know where they are. It's putting them into the freighter again. That's what happens. It keeps putting them in here. So, it gives us the... Uh, upgrades for that. Let me just see if I can get some more out of these. Another map. I think I need it. I honestly don't know where they're going. We're going to find out in a minute. I'm just going to get some more of these. Because it's the Sentinel upgrades that you get. Either the weapon upgrades or you get your exosuit upgrades from these. And I honestly don't know where they're disappearing to. They're not disappearing into my star... Oh yeah, they are going into my starship. Look at that. For some weird reason, they are defaulted going into my starship. And I don't know why. 
So these you can turn in for nanites. You get a full stack, it's 4,800 nanites. And that's what really it boils down to. That's 15, almost 20,000 nanites right there. And that's what you can, you can do for this. So, hey, have fun with it. Uh, feel free to use this base. I've uploaded the base into the servers and everything like that. So hopefully someone can take a look at it. But like I said, I went ahead and called it the the Wiley Fox Experimental Nanite Farm. Thank you, Wiley Fox. Appreciate it. And I hope you all have enjoyed have enjoyed this particular episode of a little bit of nanite farming. And we're going to take it inside now. There we go. So, feel free to check out my other videos. But if you would, drop in a like and a subscribe. And I'll have a lot more videos coming. I do want to apologize to those folks who watched the live stream. There was some setting issues with OBS that really... Uh, destroyed the quality of the broadcast broadcast after an update to OBS that I wasn't aware of so um, I should have checked it that's all on me and my fault as the case may be so uh, but thank you again for watching I really appreciate everybody that was there and we'll see you in the next video take care